part of what I wanted to do was to be able to capture the pains and the joys and the glory of people of African descent, black peoples, how they really experienced life and the change that had happened progressively over time. So this is Expo 67. So in my travels, I travel with a view to not just photographing, but recording and documenting. Some of these are 14, 50 years old, and these are several thousand hours of footage I shot in Ghana in 1997. And prior to that, of course, the Million Man March was in 1995. I shot that. I was thankful for that. They were wall-to-wall -wall people. And we were able to get all the way to the front. And so we got a prime position. But this day and this celebration is bigger than any one leader. It was a very fascinating experience. For me, it was a moment of enlightenment. I wanted to be able to have an impact. These are all Super 8s, these ones in the boxes. for all Kodak films. I think those are regular 8s, 8 millimeters. I'm pretty certain they'll be in very, very good condition. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I haven't really used them much, and they're not sticking or anything like that. When was the last time you think you watched any of these things? Oh, maybe at least uh, 10 years I haven't seen them. For me, it'll be, uh, it'll be good memories to look at them again and refresh my own memory. My film was my a treasure. I never let them out of my sight. <laughs> you know, right? uh, the first time they'll be going anywhere other than with me is where I'm taking them now. That's why I guard them so jealously. So this is Janelle. Yeah, you see, me? You me? <laughs> Pleasure meeting you as well. with some of those. And so this is one this that is I think maybe will be. So what's on that one? What does it say? Oh, yeah, Guyana. Traditionally, um, you know, the African Guyanese uh, storytelling was part of the historical legacy we had. And these stories were passed down by way of my grandmother and my great grandmother. Well, I'm literally the person who knows the history. I delved more into how we've been connected. Can see, a, yeah, something on there. Mm -hmm. A little bit of um, some mold. It's pretty visible on the reel as well. Oh yes, that's true. Yes, Just okay. I didn't even realize that uh, it was in this kind of condition. If that footage was lost, yes. how would you feel if that? Well, you know, it would be like a part of me that is gone. We had five children, Garfield, Charlotte, Kevin, and Michael, and my last one, Roger. Much of my early shooting was to do with my children. They had their birthday celebrations. My children were involved in a range of community activities, and so these would take us to different community activities and events. We had a house full of trophies. But it was from about 1994 when I really developed an interest in shooting events for the purpose of holding them as historical material. I'm delighted to join my parliamentary colleagues in commemorating Black History Month. That became more important to me. I'm a documentarian. I'm an activist. The footage that I have will speak to that in very powerful terms in the years to come. Mm -hmm.